We are here in Cebu, Philippines, and we are at My Refuge House Shelter. My Refuge House is an aftercare shelter in Cebu that provides restorative work for survivors of sex trafficking and sexual abuse. The problem of sex trafficking and sexual abuse in Cebu are so prevalent here in the country. One, because there is just so lack of information that this is actually happening. And the scarcity of access to those information and the realization of the family that whatever they're doing to their children is actually wrong. And here in the Philippines, a lot of people don't know about human trafficking. I myself, who came from a prestigious university, I didn't know about it, not until I joined my refuge house. When I was younger, I didn't have any information about human trafficking until I joined my refuge house. There are 13 girls at MRH right now, and we are expecting for more girls to be enrolled. The moment the girls were taken away from their homes or family, the importance of our role as a house parents then will come in when they are here at my refuge house to be their second mother. This will be the safe place for them to stay and even giving them the assurance that uh, they will be taken care of. And of course, we always love those girls. When you are given so much time to be with the girls, you realize there are so much more problems compared to just giving them the care they need. And so we slowly expanded from just working with the girls and giving them what they need to working with the families. And then we realized like, oh wow, like we can't just keep on accepting girls here. We want to do something out there. The problem is not within MRH, the problem is in the community. So we decided in 2015 that, oh, there's something we need to do in the prevention work. And so from having aftercare, we expanded to families, and now we're doing prevention work. A prevention program is important and critical in general to anti-human trafficking work because without it, we would just go on and on and keep accepting cases of trafficking survivors. The prevention program of Mara Fijo started out as an effort to curb the number of cases of human trafficking in the population. It's only when you speak out that you get to counter the culture of silence here in the Philippines. And that culture of silence plays such a terrible, terrible role in why abuse cases and trafficking cases continue to run prevalent here in the country. Normally, when the girls first joined my refuge house, we never heard them talking about their dreams, talking about their goals in life. Eventually, we started hearing them having goals, dreaming big dreams. We have a girl at 23 years old in first grade, no read, no write. We started with a dream for her to know how to read and how to write. And then one day, we just heard her having this dream of becoming a businesswoman. In doing this work, it requires so much emotions and so much heart. When you're working with children and young kids, it requires so much of commitment and also awareness that you're impacting their lives in different ways. To be honest, the work that we do at my refuge house, it's painful to say the least. It's tiring not only physically but emotionally. Getting to read cases, where the abuse that the girls went through, it's all written down. That impacts me in a way that makes me question about the futility of what we're doing. But then, I get to see the faces of our girls here. And I remember all of the stories of girls who have been restored. When you get to see the faces behind those numbers and realize that behind those numbers are real stories, that's when it hits you differently. Knowing that what I'm doing is for a real person who can have a hope for a better life that keeps me forward and that keeps me going. Hearing them dreaming dreams for themselves, dreams for their families, dreams for the society and the nation is a fuel that push me more not just to be a teacher but also a learner because through them i learn to believe through them i learn hope and through them i learn empowerment that they show 
every day and that keeps me going as well.